Hey you fans, Mother Rans here and welcome to another episode of Ritual Beasts. And we're playing on ranked at the moment because we feel like we might as well play this today. So apologies for how late this is, it's supposed to be done two weeks ago, but um, I have so many decks I want to play, I just don't have the time to do it, which is really annoying. But I finally got around to clock. I still got Mission Girls and Tramids to do. But there's a bit slower on the actual uptake. So let's banish Elder because we don't like him afterwards. Set these two and pass the turn. Got done for duality in hand, which is fine. I've got live steeds, I've got a, a semi live ambush. Should be fine. And we're going into tanky? Is this a normal pendulum deck? Who's going? It's you send you. Demise you send you. That is not good. There's that camera, and that's going to get the combination. And that's going to summon the camera too. And that is going to be that rundown of my monsters. I feel like I'll let that happen. I'm gonna let that happen. He can get. He doesn't get search actually. He just straight with um, camera two, camera three. I mean. Now I can activate Ritual Beast Ambush, Elder, and the Kanahawk will return to the board in what is a nice turnabout. Now I'll go attack directly, Kama 2. He's going straight for the Kanahawk. Well, that means combination. It's going to pop you two monsters, doesn't target. It's good against Cosmo if you have Michael Cosmos out. Ooh, lovely. But, um,. This is better. I think there's a card of Mize around here. He's thinking on using the card of Mize, I'm pretty sure of it. I think he thought one of these was going to be a solemn. He's got instant fusion! I didn't expect instant fusion. Not at all. So, the Elder Northern going to resurrect the Kama Free overlay for something like Castell. Could be a thing. Or Digos. Not Digos, or Emerald. Um. Yeah, Castell, I was going to say Damned Owlwolf. But Castell is probably going to shuffle this back. And if he does, that's going to be a bad position for me to be in. Because I don't have another Ritual Beast. Eek. Okay, let's see if I've the wild to look and get, come back. Let's see. Eteli, Yuki, Ritual Beast Ambush. Ah, don't have a little fire synchro either. Although I could touch some of the cavalry. That's the thing. We could set it up. I get the ambush. So it's later on, it's a bit live. Right now, it's pretty much dead and kubutsky. But later on, it will be fine. I just need one Ritual Beast monster. Italy wouldn't give me that. The best position I'd go into is Sky Cavalry Centura. Is it using its effect? No, it's not. So this is probably going to run down my Elder, and then I'm going to take a 2k to the face. Which isn't too bad, it's just the fact that he has instant fusion. More or less no view synergy players that I know run instant fusion. Which is really annoying. Regeki, worst car for this matchup. Magiki, blow away that, and hope he draws a Yosenju for me to strike. Norm Swing Kama 2, using the effect? No, no effect. 1900 again to the face. This is literally bad against this. This is the worst card to top deck in this matchup, just because they don't have board presence. And he's got a lot of back row. So that's going to be another issue I have to deal with. Solemn Warning. Now that's better. Uh, it's going to be costly though. Definitely costly. If he just summons Camera 2 again, I'm going to have to Solemn Warn it. Don't want to deal with this anymore. Draught. Combination. Not that bad. I'm going to set my Lara now. I have no other alternative. That poor Conahawk shuffle back into my deck was painful, and he doesn't have any monsters. Zephyr Pillock is not doing anything either. I can build a board. That's the thing, I can build a board. 
So Sephiroth Pillager is going to resurrect the Elder in a weird turn of events. A Vela! Wow! Didn't expect a Vela out of anything that could have dropped. I didn't expect a Vela. I thought some strike, but not a Vela. Then again, this deck is orientated for turn two, not orientated for turn one. The root stand for the root stand for force. Damn, that's uh, not a good. If he draws a monster and doesn't use its effect, I'm dead. If he draws Kama two, if he draws Tanky, <laughs> he's going for the Kama one. Gonna have to flip some in next turn. Ooh, it's not using its effect either. So he's gonna run down by Zephyr Pillager and put in the Bangum Zone. Although I would have tried to go off for this one at least. Just because you don't know what this is. Creature Swap! Well, that's me screwed over royally. Go on back, Kama. No, I can't, I can't waste my Soul Strike on you. Finally, solemn warning. Come on, solemn warning this. Bombless. Okay, that's fine. I can use steeds. That's not too applicable right now. Which will be Thambush, Elder, and Rampengu. So I have that option. Let's go Rampengu's effect. And we're gonna need another tamer. Well, actually, we need another monster. So, you and you will be out of the stack. You now have to go for a. Uh, you have to go for a fusion shuriken. I don't think I can go for ulti cannon at all. I. Well, it's very dangerous to do so. It would be able to run over this monster. I think I need to run over this monster more than anything. So I know what the monster is, and it gives my monsters onto the ball, into the graveyard, more position. And at least we can tag out with um, Ulti Pelio. So Lara going to the graveyard. So it's about graveyard nicely. Don't think we can tag out. No, we've already special summoned that monsters. We're going to pass the turn. And hope we're in a decent position. This is, this is not something nice to deal with. Kama 2 is probably going to get normal so Oh, wow! He sets the monster! I was not expecting that! I think it's something like a Vela. I don't think that's a Kama. I think that's a Vela. He's dead drawn. Oh. Rampengu, give us something more. Let's, um... Do we need Petal Thin out of the deck? We'll get, um... We've already got Elder. We'll get Wayne out the deck. Since we've already locked ourselves out of one of our Ritual Beasts, we might as well not lock us out of the other Ritual Beasts. Now we can go Connor Hawk, but this is majorly risky. If he has a Solemn Strike, this is probably going to be all over. No, thank goodness. Turn my Rampengu and my Ulti Gaia Pelio, which means I can tag out my LT Kalahawk and give myself an Elder and a Rampengu to do our combos a bit more. And get the ambush this time because we need the ambush. Ah, oh, this, this is such a really not a nice matchup. Let's get the ulti Petalfin out of the deck. And we could actually hit our own Zephyr Pilica that I didn't even realize I could do. I completely forget about that option. Uh, since we can't take our other monsters back out, we need to go ulti Apelio to run over that monster. Let's go. For the beatdown. Love that this is unaffected by cards activating, so if he has a Daru stand of Storm Force, I can basically not get affected by it. Whoa! Zephyr's the Elite! I did not expect that! That was very unexpected. I've never seen a, a Yosenji player play this card in this deck. So I don't think it's the mice form of um I doubt it's the mice form of Yosenju. And that's surprising. That's not common to not see the mice form of Yosenju 
or at least the anti-meta format you sent you. Now he's going up for, oh, out with all his plays. There's that Kama. And that's not good for me. Nolson and Kama, I'll allow it because I've got an alternative option. As long as that's not you sent your secret move, I'm fine. Kama, is that Kama that's going to be live too? Yes, Nolson's success is live. That means I can have to flip my steeds and flip my ambush for my... who do I want? Since I've already got the ones in the management zone, let's get LTA Paleo out since he has a quick effect. Pretty awesome. And steeds, bang, 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 the dirt is gone. Bye bye guys, you won't be missed. He's setting a card. Ooh. Ending the main phase? Oh yes, this is this is great. So let's use ulti my Apelio's effect to start banishing something. I'll get the Lara. And I can tag out and summon back out Lara and uh, Rampengu. We can do this without a Connor Hawk. We don't need Connor Hawk. Rampengu again. That's not too good for us. Let's banish Petalfin and give us an extra 300 boost. 500 boost, I should say. Let's go to attack. We can technically attack the game, I think. I think we could. Looking at what we have. But and Contact Fusion can be done on set monsters. So it's an alright risk against the Darude Sandstorm Force. So Zephyr Pilka and Elder out of the deck, giving us another monster to go with. But I'm pretty sure there's probably a different sense for Voss, and this will bait it out. Oh, he loses connection! <laughs> Surviving the Yosenji beatdown with Ritual Beasts! Well, I'm not, I'm not going to put this with a compilation, because I've got a few other replays that weren't too long that I could put up, and I probably will be. Probably add some unranked into that too, as well as ranked. But yeah, I enjoyed this. Playing Ritual Beast again. Nice. Shame. It's a shame Konami hit Upstar Goblin. I had so much plans for the, after Monarchs were hit on the ban list and Upstar Goblin was still a free. I could have played the deck m much more effectively and even po even possibility of bringing it back as a pseudo rogue deck. But Konami screwed that up. It's still an alright tier 2 deck. It's not tier 1. It's not never going to be tier 1 until we get more support. And Konami, there is a possibility to give us more support. Now, let's do it, please. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and join us on Steve content. Please leave a comment below your suggestion to my deck or suggestion for my channel in general. If you want to see when I'm streaming, please like my Facebook page, in, which is in the description below, as that will tell you the information for my streams. And then also check out the polls at the top of this video. Always like to know what your opinions. So yeah, thank you for watching. Matt Rand, signing out.